Hi, everybody. Hello there. I'm Jerry. And I'm Linda. We're the Village's Newcomers. A few weeks ago, we issued a call. We asked you if you would send in two pictures, one of yourselves about 20 years ago, maybe 30 or 40 years ago, and another one more current. And boy, did you. <laughs> yeah, they sent in a lot, and we really appreciate it. And we're going to post these today, and you'll get to meet some of the kind of folks that live here in the villages and other folks that want to move here to the villages. We'll start off with a few of our own. Here's the first known picture of us. Back in 1973, a yearbook ad photo for a local restaurant. After high school, it was off to college. Here's Linda's dorm room. I must have baked her some brownies. Another shot from her dorm. Linda shows off her wall art. Here we are on our honeymoon, 1978, at Tarpon Springs, Florida. And a recent photo doing what we do best, getting a milkshake at an ice cream parlor. Cheryl and David got married in 1981. They bought their first house in New England. They worked hard and raised their family, and as time went on, the winters became longer and colder. They recently purchased their home in the villages. Snowbirds at first, looking forward to becoming permanent residents. Jay and Becky are a couple of Hoosiers who got married in 1982. He said we were young and in love and we moved forward with determination and strong values. We've lived in 10 states and have been blessed to have visited all 50. We started saving for retirement on day one and were blessed to purchase our home in the villages in May of 2021. We're looking forward to the fun and camaraderie that our new neighborhood offers. Here is Joe and Elise Manzioni. They got married in Long Island, New York. They didn't even know that the villages existed. Joe was a banker and Elise a paralegal. They were enjoying life to the fullest. Now they're in their 60s. How the time flies so fast. He said they never imagined that we'd be renting in the villages until we find our new home. Here's Roy and Karen Cooper. The first photos from 1995 when they got married. Things don't always go as planned and they were divorced in 2011. But God had other plans and they reconciled in 2016. Now debt free and mortgage free, Roy says they will be together unconditionally till death do us part. This is Robert and Jennifer McNabb in their wedding picture. It was March 25, 1995 as they began their new life together. Not sure what to expect, but excited for the adventure ahead. 27 years and four sons later, they'll be spending their 27th anniversary in the villages. Only 1,879 days until they make it permanent. Here's Brenda and Wayne. Brenda says Wayne and I were married and started our lives together as husband and wife on October 27, 1990. They were honeymooning in Hershey, Pennsylvania and she had just started working for Hershey. We were excited to have recently purchased a new home and decided to build our careers and start a family. Little did we know that within three years we would add three children, all boys. Life was about to get really crazy for many years. In September of 2020, we settled into our new retirement community, The Villages. Wayne retired in 2019 and I worked for Hershey's until January of 2022. Having both of us retired gives us the freedom to participate in more activities together. We look so forward to the future, spending winters in Florida and summers at our lake home in Northern Wisconsin. Rodney and Jackie Schilling were in love on April 30th, 1983. Their whole life was in front of them. Rodney says we grew our love and life as we built our house on a hillside overlooking a lake and we started our family. Almost 39 years later and we've navigated our lives successfully. 
three wonderful children and five beautiful grandchildren. Starting April 4th, the next and newest chapter in our lives, The Villages, yeah -hoo! During part of our lives, we portrayed Santa and Mrs. Claus, bringing the joy of Christmas to hundreds of children. And look at that classic wedding picture, fantastic. This is Bill and Deb Scheiber. Bill says we were 20 year old kids, that although we didn't know the future, we knew we were going to go through it together. Bill says he could never have imagined what a great team they'd be. And now they're our neighbors. Here are Brian and Tammy Jacobs. They were high school sweethearts. What a great picture. They were married in 1983. Look at those faces. That's Jim and Alma Peterson. This photo was taken in 1970 when they started going steady in Montgomery, Ohio. Married in 1976, and 46 years later, Jim and Alma are proud to be frogs. So happy in the village of Ashland. They love their life in the villages. Mike and Mary Culseth started dating in May of 1968. Mike was only 15 years old. They married at age 18. Check out that classic car. This June, it will be 51 years of wedded bliss. Mike says it's been a good run. I'm obviously an overachiever. We now enjoy our winters in Florida and summers in Minnesota. Two of our all-time favorite people. Here are Kathy and Patrick O'Neill. And they used this picture to announce their engagement in 1998. They met earlier that year when Kathy was 26 and Patrick 32. Here they are on a recent cruise, renewing their wedding vows in the traditional Chicago Blackhawks jerseys. They now live in the village of St. Catherine. This good looking couple is Roy and Kim Ellis. On their wedding day in Gig Harbor, Washington back in 1993. He says we were trying to buy a house and start a family. And two years later, we we're raising our first child in our first house. In the second pick, they're at Boise State visiting on Parents Weekend. Coming for a lifestyle visit in April, they can't wait. This is Chris and Karen Hackenfort. Look at this couple at their high school prom in 1981. And here they are at the closing in their new Florida home, April 2020. They purchased a home in Citrus County, sight unseen. They're very happy with their decision and timing. Married in 1985, they had never heard of the villages until they started watching the newcomers. Dick and Cherie Snay are from Alto, Michigan. Young and naive in the first picture, they've come a long way. They say God has been with us throughout all the trials and tribulations, and we're very grateful. Both of us are retired and looking forward to our lifestyle visit in May. This is Diane and Robert Power from Lake Placid, New York. They met in 1999 at karaoke. Robert sings and Diane claps. To this very day, you can see Robert at Cody's or World of Beer on stage singing karaoke. Robert visited the parents of good friends in the villages about 10 years ago. He knew he just had to get Diane down here from New Jersey. In April of 2021, they rented a villa in the village of Tall Trees. They loved it. While enjoying their stay, a house around the corner came on the market and they bought it. Now they've sold their home up north and will be permanent villagers in March. Welcome. This is Deborah and John. The first pictures from 2004 went on their honeymoon. The next picture is a recent photo in front of their home in Osceola Hills. They're wearing their Jerry and Linda t-shirts. They can be seen zipping around the villages in their beautiful red atomic car. Sue and Jim Roberts are from Lexington, South Carolina. They were married July 8, 1978. Hey, you just beat me and Linda by three weeks. Sue was 20 years old and just graduated from nursing school. Jim was 21 and worked in a pharmaceutical lab. 
He said we worked hard and we bought a townhouse one year and a house a few years later. We had three sons, which kept us very busy. They've always loved traveling and they've been to many places. They're now expecting their first grandchild anytime. In 2021, they packed up and moved to South Carolina. Sue is now retired and Jim works for an insurance company. They're ready to enjoy the remaining years, but first need to make it through their first Southern summer. This is Rich and Patty from Wentzville, Missouri. He sent these photos of himself and his high school sweetheart. They broke up for 10 years and found each other again for the best 31 years. They've been living in a motor home and touring out west, currently running out their home in Alhambra Village until April, when they're gonna to return to live as villagers. This is Gary and Joni. They're from Ohio. This is Bill and Joanne Bagley. Here they are in 1978 in Longview, Texas. They've been together since they met in high school. After high school, Joanne went off to the University of Texas and Bill went to the University of Oklahoma. And here they are today. Joanne is reluctant to move permanently to the villages. We'll visit later this year and hopefully agree to be seasonal residents. We enjoy everything the villages has to offer. Doug and Nancy Barber met in 2005. They knew instantly that they were ideally matched and their future together would be fulfilling and bright. Fast forward 17 years, with Doug retired and Nancy nearing retirement, their life together would be all they dreamed it would be. They recently spent time touring the villages. Linda and Ashley Smith met in 2007. They were flying from England to Orlando and met on the airplane on their way to Disney to run in a marathon. Ashley says he was lucky enough to call Linda his wife in 2012. They were married in the same church as his parents. To celebrate their 10th anniversary, they went back to Orlando to the Disney Marathon. Travel has been quite an issue and they are looking forward to getting to their new home. Wow, what a wedding picture. Great job, Ashley. Here's Billy and Judy Layton. The first picture is from 2000, just after they moved to the villages. They were looking forward to making long-term friendships by joining clubs and trying new activities. And the second picture is from a milestone birthday party in 2021. We got to this point by involving ourselves in our neighborhood and villages activities. We could never imagine we could still have this much enjoyment almost 22 years later. Great story. This story really touched our hearts. Pam Small writes, Eddie and I were high school sweethearts. We married in June of 1980 in our hometown of Miami. We honeymooned in Disney World. Eddie's career with the Coast Guard took us to Michigan, New Orleans, and Atlanta. We always hoped to return to Florida for retirement. But sadly, he passed away very unexpectedly in August after 41 years of marriage. This was my first Valentine's Day without him. That first photo was taken around 1994, and the last one was on vacation a few years ago in Key West. Pam, we are so sorry for that. This is Corey and Karen Irby. The first pic is from our wedding day in 1981. Bill was 19 and Karen was 20. He was ready to leave for Air Force basic training, so we weren't really thinking about what the future would hold. It turns out that we both enjoyed military life. I ended up turning a four-year enlistment into a 26-year career, he said. After seeing your channel, we knew right then our goal was to sell our house and move to the villages. The second picture was at Lowry Park Zoo in Tampa in July of 2021. Being much closer to our family in St. Petersburg, played heavily into our decision to move to the villages. Steve Frick sent us this picture from 1981. He says you can tell by the hair, the suit, and the wallpaper in the background. 
They broke up in the spring of 1982, he says. And in the second picture, you can tell, time has passed by the lack of my hair. We reconnected and were married in 2010. Dave and Nancy sent us this photo. It looks like Robert Mitchum and Doris Day standing in front of a movie set. Taken in 1987, we were young and life was going to be just the way we were wanting. Here we are at the closing in July. Life was nothing like we had planned. It was quite a roller coaster ride, full of very high highs and very low lows. We made it through believing in each other and as the saying goes, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. This is Mike and Marie Ellis on their wedding day, June 30th, 1984. He says we were young and dumb and so in love. The second photo was taken this year in Tennessee. Our goal is to live life to the fullest and do as many unique things we can for as long as we can. Thankfully, we still like each other after all these years. This is Carol and Jim LaPierre. Here we are at our beginning at Pawtucket, Rhode Island in 1967. 55 years. It's been a long journey, but we've enjoyed every step. The second photo was last summer after our move to our new home in Citrus Grove. We came all the way from Orange County, California. We have three children and seven grandchildren who we adore. Carol's a retired nurse and Jim a retired police lieutenant. They say they have wonderful neighbors. Karen and Michael Harvey say thank you for your videos. We started watching from our couch in Illinois. We are now living in Monarch Grove. The next three photos are from Tony Santee and her husband. This was the absolute start of our relationship. I was 19 and he was about to turn 18. The only thing I thought about was how cute he was and that I really wanted to kiss him. I mean, that mullet was irresistible. This is Ann Stout and her husband. The first photo was taken in August of 1991, about 30 years ago. And here we are, 30 years later, in the most magical place on earth. This is Pat and Mary Hughes. 48 years ago, they were college grads heading to Iowa for their first jobs filled with work, travel, and many exciting adventures. In the second photo, we're happily retired principal and managing engineer, now traveling abroad, having a ball, and counting our blessings. Dave and Mary Ann Ackerley were married on June 13, 1987, in Spokane, Washington. The world is our oyster. I'm gonna make it in the broadcasting biz, She's gonna be a great therapist. We're gonna have some kiddos and live the dream. Four great college educated and financially independent kids later, we've done all that. The next picture is from August 2019 at the old family farm in Marble Creek, Missouri. Still loving every minute spent with her and hoping for many more, but with less work. This is Kim Kramer from New Jersey. In the first picture, I'm about six years old, she said. People said I had curls like Shirley Temple. I wasn't sure I was going to lose all that baby fat, but finally I did by the time I was in my mid-twenties. I was cute dressed in my sister's overalls. I didn't know at that point that I'd go back and finish high school and go on to college. And In the last photo, I'm 54. I cannot wait to retire and go to Florida. Coming for a lifestyle visit in May and I can't wait. This is Tim and Diane in 1994 as newlyweds, with nothing to our names but big dreams for a future in a big log cabin. We had three goals and they all began with an H, a house, a Harley, a horse. The second picture is after 28 years. We have our third Harley, his third. I still have no horse. Dreams change. My new dream is the villages. We are researching, saving, and planning. 
The plan is 2025, just three more years for him to retire at 59 and a half, and I'll stop working at 57 when he retires. We can't wait. Here's David and Andrea Utri. We got married on July 21st, 1971. Andrea was 21 and I was 20. We are ballroom dancers. This photo's from our recent routine. We're lifelong badgers from Wisconsin. Our 50th wedding anniversary was July 21st, 2021. And David, if you watched Mailbag Monday recently, he grows bananas all the way up there in Wisconsin. This has to be one of my favorite photos from the whole show. Greg Pangin in his family store in Waltham, Massachusetts. His dad had that store for 50 years. 60 years ago, Greg thought he would probably follow in his dad's footsteps, but he's been an Edward Jones advisor for the past 13 years, seven in the villages. Paul and Claire in England share their lovely beach wedding photo from 17 years ago. Having both been divorced, they started married life traveling and having fun and hoping for many more years of adventure. The second photo is on a cruise, celebrating Paul's 60th birthday and his retirement last year. This good looking couple is Karen and Jeff Strode. I'm digging on that shirt, Jeff. James and Angie Rizzo. That first photo is from our wedding day, August 18th, 1985. What a character James is from that photo. We wanted to get out of this small town and that's what we did. James joined the army and we traveled all over the world. Once he got out of the army, he landed a job as a federal law enforcement officer. We have three children and three grandchildren. Our lifestyle visit was in May of 2021. Our retirement is in March of 2022. We are future residents of the villages. Our dream come true. This is Glenn and Diane West, and another of my absolute favorite photos in this show. That first picture is them in Air Force basic training. They met there in February of 1984. We knew each other for nine years before marrying in 1993. At the time of that photo, we had no clue what was in front of us. The second picture is of us holding our first grandchild, Teddy. We've had a very adventurous life together, raising two fine boys into fine young men. We have traveled, had fun, seen a lot, and enjoyed life. At the moment, we live in Wiesbaden, Germany, and we'll be moving back home in 2024. Shortly thereafter, we plan to retire to the villages. These two photos were submitted by Maria Hancock. She said, this gave me a minute to reflect on my last 37 years. Jan and Rich Soper submitted these photos. The first pictures from 1977, just hoping for the best. And we were both lucky. Almost 45 years in the books three successful children, four grandchildren, fairly healthy, we're happy, and we were lucky to meet Jerry and Linda in December. This good-looking couple is Nicole and Brian Mathis. They met in 1994 in their hometown in West Virginia. We worked hard, she said, raising three wonderful children. We moved to the villages 16 months ago. We love the active lifestyle, and we've made some amazing friends. It's a blessed life living in Marsh Bend. Anthony Scoggins submitted this picture. He says it's with his Erin down in Pensacola. I lost her to COVID last September, but we had 10 incredible years together. We ran out of time long before we ran out of adventures. Anthony, we are so sorry for your loss. That is just heartbreaking. Karen Dillon says, together 30 years, still loving our time and adventures together. Sonia Small submitted this picture of her and her hubby. 
And here is Carol Vanderzanden and her husband. Looks like they're doing just great. Erin Darty submitted these pictures. She says the first picture is a themed pretend wedding in 2002. And the second one, the same people eloping to Hawaii in 2017. This is Joyce Tompkins. She says they just celebrated their 23rd wedding anniversary. Petra LaForest submitted these pictures. Here's one of her back in the day. And here's a picture of her today. And also of her job as a critical care nurse. Here's Rachel and Eric Shellstead, a super couple on their wedding day, and we had the pleasure of bumping into them while eating lunch one day. Here's a picture of Rob Kick and his bride. Here's Rebecca Brewer. She says, 42 years and still in love. See you all in March. And there's a current picture of the lovebirds. And finally, this photo from Laura Cohen Sayers. In 2021, they had been married 32 years. That was a lot of fun. I did enjoy all those stories. You know, it just proves what I've known for a long time. Our viewers are the best people in the world. And I mean that. To take time out of your day to either comment or like or subscribe or post or send us an email. There's a lot of great people out there. Some of you sent in files that just weren't compatible. Maybe the resolution was too low or it was a different type of file that we couldn't read. In any event, thanks for sending them in. We're sorry and we'll try to get your picture on a future video. If you like this video today, please press that like and subscribe button and share it with your friends. Until next time. See you when you get here.